I have a bowl with a lip that's easy for pouring that I have a paint strainer bag in. I have a quart jar. This is what I pour the final product into and I drink it. A cutting board, a knife, and I have a little plate. I use the plate for um, the ends of things I don't want. And also at the end it can get kind of messy, messy pouring stuff in here so I use it to catch anything that comes out of the jar. The paint strainer bag, that's something that most people ask about. See, it looks like this. And I got it, actually, just at Ace Hardware. It was a two-pack. I think this was $5 for two bags. And this bag, so far, has lasted me eight months. I've tried to take care of it. There are nut milk bags, and you can order those. Um, you can order it off of Amazon, I think, or other um, health shops, and they might have it at health stores. And I happen to use a Breville blender, but you can use any blender, any $25 blender, um, as long as it can get up to puree. Here are my basic ingredients. I have a cucumber, a small head of celery, and between a quarter to a half pound of greens. I happen to have here about a half pound of collard greens. These are my optional ingredients that I add in for flavor. Anyway, I just cut this into smaller pieces. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you're going to grind it up anyway. All you're wanting is to get it small enough to get into the blender and get around the blades here. And organic foods, you get more bang for your buck. You can get more nutrition and satisfy your bodily needs better. I don't know if that's in the way. With organic foods. And I just chopped this up into little pieces too. And now for this, all I really do is just tear it up and stick it into the blender. See, it's not all gonna fit at first. So I'll go ahead and rip this up and have it ready to go. My ginger. This thing is really easy to peel. You can either um, cut it with a knife or just with a peeler. I'm going to throw in my lemon when I get this worked down some more. So I start this. I put in the rest of my greens. see has gotten to like a pea soup consistency. You can strain the whole thing or you can drink it just like this or you can add more water to it and drink it like a smoothie. What I tend to do 
is I will fill up my quart jar, jar about a quarter of the way with the whole mix with fiber and then I'll strain the rest and then throw it in here. When I was juicing a lot, I had to juice some to store it. So when I stored it, I went ahead and strained it all. I poured it into this quart jar and I poured it up until the liquid was kind of about to overrun. It was like a, a tiny dome on top. And then I just put the canning lid and when I put it on and pushed, the juice ran out. And while I was still pushing down on it, I put the ring on. So I made sure there wasn't any air in here. And then I would pop it in the fridge. And that was how I would make juices for storage, like if I had to drink them later. Sometimes we went on trips and I had to make a whole bunch of jars and like stick them into a cooler. But that's when I was um, doing the juice feasting. But now all I do is one quart of juice a day. So I can just make it like in the morning and then that's it. Drink it right then. Okay, straining it. You can see here it's already starting to come out. One of the tricks with using one of these strainer bags is that you want to be really gentle with it and don't put a lot of pressure on any part. Um, you do that, you'll end up squirting juice all over your walls. You'll pop a hole in it or in the seam and you'll get it all over yourself. So I tend to try to hold it way up high. So there's a lot of room here in the bottom for the mixture to move. And I just kind of massage it around. There's a lot of juice here caught in between the fiber. So you just try to move it around to allow the juice to be able to find a way out. And I don't put a whole lot of pressure on it. If I feel like I'm putting pressure and I'm starting to feel tension in the bag, then I'll kind of back off. Now when it gets, I got a lot more of the juice out here. Now this is when I will put some pressure, but it's not really on the bag, it's on the pulp itself. And I start at the top and I squeeze. See, I'm squirting some. Don't expect this to be a very clean endeavor. Um, don't wear your good clothes. Put on an apron. And then here I squeeze but no pressure. And sometimes I'll squeeze back and forth up and down up and down. I just pour. Again, it helps if you have a bowl with a lip. I've seen so many people trying to do this with other bowls and they get it all over the place or they lose half of it. There. And there is my green juice. A little bit of stuff floating on top. As I drink that, I will chew. Mm -mm -mm. 